Okay, bills. That's before. One dried out berry. Okay, this one here, let's see how dry this one is. It's probably not as bad. Spin. That's not too bad. I might put some more on them anyway, though. This probably needs to re top up. This one here is pretty nasty. There's a little bit of play there, but that's probably normal. Yeah, that's the adjustment that one is in the right place. That's not well, it was rolling on three wheels. So I'll look at this. I'll look at the pivot mechanism in there. So I'll show you how to do that. I've cracked it loose, now I'm gonna loosen this wheel. So I'm gonna let you use this. Stand door. Mm. Yeah, it is back there. Yeah, it's just pretty dry. This should roll much easier now. Push it in. Dry it in there. Okay, I'll give this a bit of a lube up. No. Oh, that's hard. Put some oil on there. There's no grease to on this one. Dump some more down there. Okay, that side. Bit difficult to do when everything's in a bastard of a spot. But once I can hold it. That's better. No, a bit of a squeak hook somewhere there. Make a bit more. Let that penetrate. I'm just wearing the old. We run around sandals this morning. Alright. Washer goes first. Then that bearing inside rests, rests on that washer. So what I do now, same with the back, filling out for some grease. It's another dirty job. Yep, we'll give it a bit of a probably give it a bit of a polish with that rag over there. The kerosene rag first. <coughs> Grease, sit on that toothbrush, keep it off the ground. Okay. Bit of grease in that won't matter anyway. You could use a clean rag, but for this video I'm just using a dirty, semi-dirty rag. There we go, there's a little bit of wear on that, but I only took the coating of the um that Inhibiting coating off it, so it's not as bad as the other one that was on here. We we'll wore through the first layer. Yeah, it's not worn right through, so that's good. So we'll get on top of that with some grease. That's there's going to be clean in there. You can clean that if you want, but in this case it doesn't have to be cleaned. So you just get the grease pump. Pump a bit in there. Get it in there with one hand. As you can see. Oops. Make a bit of a mess at the same time with my hand, but I will. Get the point like that. For the hole up and around that front surface. So I push this pin in. Stick in with the grease, and then when I spin it, it should be very easy. That's a much, much, very free spinning pin now, so that's good. I'll put this wash on, get a bit of a clean. These are ball bearings, by the way. And I'd say that bearing's okay, the seal's not blown or anything. It's spun pretty good in its own. You put your finger on it and you turn. You should feel if it's good or not. In this case, they were all either both back ones. I did that trick with the rod and they were good. So that's a good sign. They don't have to be replaced. Get them clean. There you go. Beautiful. Then I'll put the washer on and I'll bolt it back on. Try to keep it where I can, so. 
fairly flex. it on to tie her up, tighten her up I should say, tie her up. <clears throat> that, press the button, there we go. There's a Blue Point brand sockets by the way, this whole set, made by a company called Blue Point. They're pretty good. Like a snap-on tools, similar brand. Never fail me. Stored up, okay. It's a totally end job, so pause the camera. Okay, they're all done. That's what I'm looking for. Nice, free spinning, silent wheel. Well, I might be nice and happy now. It doesn't have to work as hard pushing itself. That cap's been broken off, by the way, so I didn't lose it. Time for this front wheel. That side done. Now this wheel. We'll need a medium smallish screwdriver in this case. And a clip saw on this side, so you get a push in there to release the clip. Camera, honey. Now that. Try and break it free a bit. Push in there. That's a clip release, so you push against that clip to release it so you don't break it. This one, there you go. Just flop it out like that. And that's it. Off, or we'll do this one. This is on pretty tight. This might be another two round job, so I'll stop the camera again. Okay, this was not actually too dirty. Just in pretty good nick. So, what you do, you get your finger, you should feel friction or hear the sound. Put your ear class up to it, but in this case, I don't have any resistance in the bearing. Or any rough surface, so that's good. That bearing's healthy. Uh, NTN 608 LU. So they're good. I think they're Canadian, I'm pretty sure. NTN. So they're a pretty good brand. Japanese are the best bearings I get. Around here, anyway. So I'll just put some oil on there. Which one's tight. This is a very tight one. Grab the old thing, as you can see. Like that. That one's not too bad. Give you some wipe over. Clean rag this time. That's not too bad, so that's pretty clean. Now, that's pretty clean in there too. No dust. So I'll pump some grease into this one. First, there we go, the grease will hold it together for you. That way, doesn't matter which way, but sometimes it does. That's all pretty clean, didn't have to wipe this one over. See to put on.
I will tension this bolt up and give it a test drive. Clip this back on. Run in first, push your finger. Oops, gotta stop the wheel from turning. Done. Much better. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, it's time for a test drive. Clean the tools. I always clean the tools when I put them away. Set that there. Okay. Moment of truth. That should engage your drive. Got a nice good ratcheting gears now. Pull back, it locks. That's good. Squeeze that down, which hits this little button here. And you push that slowly forward to engage the um, blade. And drive, that's all. Pretty simple and easy to use. Okay. Coasts nicely. Right, time to take her out to the grass, so we'll start it up and give her a test mode. Take this catcher off, I put my shoes on, and we've got a, a shoot that shoots sideways for it somewhere if I can find it. Put it away somewhere, I'll find that and I'll show you a demonstration.